Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Here we have the Space Marines Company Heroes painted as Black Templars and they did such an amazing thing to paint the full squad that we can see here. Uh, of course I will leave in the description links to the videos where I paint each one of them but uh, even if the full squad is finished we are missing one miniature from the box so today it's going to be the time to paint the Captain. This is the miniature from the Company Heroes where he added more changes. As you can see, I gave him a different helmet, a different shoulder pad and a different backpack. All these three things can be found in the Black Templars upgrade spruce. So if you want to get them, they, they are just there. And I decided to, I decided to leave this uh, shoulder pad because it looks quite cool. And if I paint it in such, uh, let's say fancy captain colors, it will look nice in my opinion. And it's funny because this uh, thing in the back, it used to be a relic in 9th edition, it used to have its own rules. But uh, right now it's just something that will make this captain look cooler. So <laughs> of course it looks cooler with that in the back. And I decided to go for this uh, weapon loadout because even if I thought that the pose with the sword was a little bit cooler, I I wanted to have a power fist and I like this uh, pointy power fist. It looks cool, so it looks nice. He's like pointing at something, who knows what. Something to destroy. And I like uh, plasma pistols in general, so I decided to give uh, this one. And I mean, at first I thought about the sword, but of course I already have a Black Templar Marshal that he has uh, <laughs> the plasma pistol and the power sword. So I didn't want to have a uh, two captains or let's call him Marshall uh, with exactly the same weapon loadout. I wanted to have something different. So that's why I, I decided like, okay, then it is what it is. I will give him the, the power fist. It's still super cool. And uh, with all of that being said, now I can start uh, preparing this miniature for painting. And of course, the first thing that I'm going to do as this is going to be a Black Templar captain. I'm going to give him, uh, I want to prime him in Chaos Black from Citadel and after, after that I will use uh, this Technical Paint, Technical Astrogranite Debris because it's the one that I use for the rest of my Black Templars and because of consistency I will give him the, the exactly same one and after that it will be the moment to finally paint this uh, cool, cool, very fun looking captain. I repeat this quite often, but still it's always a nice reminder that if you are going to paint something like, for example, a cape, uh, you can paint the inside of the cape and then glue it into the miniature and like this you will be solving a lot of problems for the future. Like for example, here in my case, uh, now I have to face a lot of issues because I, I would like to have the inside of the cape white. And uh, yes, we, I have a tabard here and because of this I will have a lot of difficulties accessing with the brush to the, the inside parts of the cape here in the in the back or between the legs of the space marine it's going to be quite challenging but it's okay i decided to do it like this and now i will have to deal with it and of course my procedure is going to be paint the most hidden parts first and then go to the outside uh, but uh, i think that i will try to paint everything that is going to be white or gray and because of that i will First of all, use Eshin Grey and then I will use uh, Tonestone. I will do this because I always consider that it's much nicer to have a nice transition between black and white if you put some grey in the middle. Uh, at least it works for me and I, that's what I will do. I don't think that I will put uh, Eshin Grey everywhere but for sure I will, there will be some parts that I will do it. And I will do the inside of the cape, I will do the tabard, the purity seals, also the, the banner that I gave him in the back, and as well as the shoulder pads, because even if for the company heroes I gave them marks of veterans and they have like the red shoulder pads, uh, this is a captain and I like captains to have like the proper colors of the chapter, so he's going to have uh, the inside of the shoulder pad is going to be white. Same with this one, even if there's not much white because we have like a huge symbol that covers everything. But still, those are the, the colors that I'm going to give him. So with that being said, we can start uh, painting the miniature finally.
for the base colors of the miniature I'm going to use three of my personal favorites I'm going to use corn red for the red elements like for example the purity seals, the weapon, the eyes and of course the cape then I'm going to use uh, lead belcher for the metallic elements like uh, the symbol in the chest, some parts of the weapon and let's say the inside parts of the power armor as well this kind of metallic elements I will use this color and finally I'm going to use Wraithbone for all the white elements that uh, actually you can clearly see the things that I'm going to paint with white because they're already in grey This is starting to look like a proper Black Templar Captain, but we still need some more base colors and I will use Morphan Brown for the belt and the holder of the weapon and then of course we're talking about a Captain, so we will need some gold details and for that I'm going to use Balthazar Gold.
Now that I finished with the base colors of the captain, I can start with the shades and I will start with the null noil that I'm going to use for the basically everything that I painted with the lead belcher, like this symbol here, the inside parts, the power armor, and uh, also I will use it for this tabard in the front and the gaps between the shoulder pad, I mean between the black and the white because right now it's a little bit uh, weird and with that we will manage to get like a smoother transition, I hope and then I'm going to use Agrax Earth Shade and I will use this one for basically the rest like the golden details of the miniature, I will use it as well for the purity seals the, the brown parts, like the leather parts of the miniature and this banner in the back I will continue with the edge highlighting of the captain and I'm going to start with the black power armor. For that I'm going to use the two colors that I like the most on the black templars and first I will use dark reaper, I'm going to use this one in every single edge of the black power armor and then I will use the Fenrisian grey in the areas that are going to be the most exposed. Sometimes I get carried away and I use a lot of these ones, so I will try to keep it to the minimum. Now that I'm happy with how the black power armor of this Black Templar Captain looks, it's going to be the time to continue with the edge highlighting and I'm going to use Retributor armor for all the golden details of this miniature. Then I will use Stormhold Silver for the metallic details that I painted with the lead belcher previously. And of course I will use Evil Sun Scarlet for the red parts of the miniature.
two main parts remaining of this captain, this small shield over here that I'm going to paint with uh, corn red and evil sun scarlet, this plasma pistol that I'm going to paint with uh, thousand suns blue and corax white. I mean, I have seen some nice videos on the internet of people painting plasma, but they use paints that I don't have, so I will try to use these ones and make something at least half decent. And then after these two main parts, I have a lot of different details all over the, the captain. Uh, I'm going to use Stormhost Silver to paint these nails over here in the back, and also a little bit more of uh, here that I will need to correct over the, the banner. Well, the, the, the relic, let's say. And then I'm going to use Runor Brass for some small bullets that are there at the bottom. They are not very visible right now, but I'm still going to paint them. I will use uh, Ideal Yellow for the uh, flames here in the, in the candles. And last, I will use uh, here Wraith Bond to do some highlights in the rock that he's standing at and do some dry brush over the base. After all this hard work uh, painting this uh, miniature, this is how my captain from the Space Marines Company Heroes looks like. And of course, I would love to know what you think about this miniature, so you can let me know in the comments. And I have to say a few things. First of all, I'm quite happy with the miniature itself. I re I'm really glad about how this shield ended up looking. I probably will try to do this one in some other of my Black Templars because it would look quite uh, nice. And my main, I mean, the thing that I worry the most is about this banner in the back. Because I'm 100% sure that this is going to break at some point. I mean, I'm sure that it will break. I... <laughs> I had a small accident when I was painting, but I managed to fix it. It turned to the side a little bit too much, but I managed to put it back. But as you can see, it's a little bit fragile. So I'm a little bit scared about that. But aside of uh, that small issue, I'm quite happy with how the, the miniature looks. And I, I definitely can imagine this captain leading my Black Templars in battle. I'm very proud that I finished the whole box and it, it was such a cool looking box. All of the miniatures were such a pleasure to paint and now it will be a good moment to put all of them together to see how they will look. And the same way that I started the video with all of them together except for the captain, now it's a nice way to finish the video having all of them here together. I have to say that this box looks amazing to me, all of the miniatures look fantastic, maybe right now at the moment of making this video they are not the most competitive choice or a must in game, but for sure they look awesome, they, they look great and when they are together they look like a super elite force and that's something quite nice because they, they should look like that so I'm, I'm very proud of uh, finishing all of them, painting all of them in the channel so it was like a great journey with all of you. 
and uh, I think that I can leave the video for now, for sure I will share more pictures of them and as usual if you are still here please consider giving me a like and subscribing, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.